Oh, shit. We up in here. What's up? What's up? Where y'all at? Cheers. Where y'all at? What's up? <laughs> Everybody hit that like button. How y'all feeling tonight? What's up? Where y'all drinks at? Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> back to back. I'm here. How y'all feeling? Y'all got y'all drinks? Mm. Hey, CA. What's up, sis? Halima, Mari, it's Lovey, what's up? Mona Lisa, hey, you said I got my chips. Mm. You said as soon as I get off, I got my old fashioned ready, shit. Love you too. Empress Jane, did you add more liquor to it tonight? I know you said it wasn't strong enough. You know I added some more liquor. I did my free pour. I'm glad to see you too, Nikila. I ain't got time for using no damn measuring cups and shit. Mm-mm, no measuring cup tonight. Free pull up in this bitch. Mm-hmm. How y'all doing? Everybody hit the like button. Scorpio from Georgia. What's up? Your co-workers crushed my Cape Cod. <laughs> I remember my mom, she made me mad. When we went to Miami for my birthday and back in October, I had my jalapeno chips in a separate bag because I brought a bunch of snacks for us. I told this bitch, I said, these are your snacks. I gave her her snacks. You know what I'm saying? I said, don't touch this bag. This is my bag. I specifically told her that. While I woke up, my jalapeno chips was almost gone. Y'all know I almost had to fit my mother. I said, now, wait a minute, bitch. I said, I gave you your snack bag. If you wanted your own snacks, you should have bought your own. You ain't bring none. I specifically told you this bag was off limits. She talking about she didn't know. I said, how you didn't know? She knew damn well that that was not her snack bag. I told her, this, this bag is mine. <laughs> Don't touch this bag. Your snack bag is over there. You got peanuts. You got other chips. I woke up and my damn jalapeno chips is almost damn done. And she talking about, oh, she didn't know. She just grabbed a snack bag. I said, no, you knew what you was doing. She knew exactly what she was doing. She ate all my jalapeno chips. And I had to go to the store and buy some new ones. She thinks she's slick. That pissed me off. Don't touch my jalapeno chips. <laughs> 
You can touch everything else. But y'all know how serious I get about them chips. You know, that shit pissed me off. Pokemon, she didn't know. You have the best personality on YouTube. Well, thank you, baby. I just be being myself. Yeah, I'm answering questions tonight. Hold the fuck on. What the fuck is this phone doing? I guess it's upgraded on its own. I don't know. These phones be doing some weird shit. Thank you, Jasmine. I don't know. It just did this on its own. I haven't even used this phone all day, but I guess it's upgrading. So I'll check the questions in a minute. But yeah, I'm answering questions tonight. She said, I couldn't have one of her jalapeno chips or salt and vinegar. <laughs> My mom is a Leo. You know how Leos are. They think the world is centered around them. They the sun, right? So she probably was like, my mom, she stayed doing sneaky shit like that. That's why I couldn't live with my mother. She eat up all my snacks, drink up all my juice. See, my mother got four, she got this three sisters. So it was four of them. So she used to sharing. I'm the only child. So I do not like sharing. What's mine is mine. What you want by your own. You know what I'm saying? So she always be like, I should have had another child for you because you are so selfish. I'd be like, no, I'm not selfish. I just like what's mine. If you like what you want, buy your own. What's mine is mine. I ain't got to share shit with you. I'm used to buying my, when I want something, I buy it. Why I got to share? You know what I'm saying? But she had to share. She had three sisters. You know what I'm saying? I'm checking out. My phone is just now coming back on. It was doing some upgrade shit. So I'm going to check the questions in a second and we're going to get started. Mm -hmm. Woo, come on. Baby, you can strip, you can strip, because I like you just the way you are. Jessica, yes, I got your payment. So Jessica's number one. We got four slots left for Cash App PayPal questions. All right, let's get started with the, Whoa. Eight of Wands popped out. Who about to get some crazy communication? Some of y'all about to get some. You saw how that popped up? Some of y'all about to get uh, some crazy communication. A lot of communication from somebody. Yeah, get them likes up. So tonight's topic is pretty straight to the point. Do they want long-term or nah? So you know which cards I'm looking at. We're going to use Oracle cards. But I'm basically looking to see if this person, whoever this person is, if they if they thinking about long term with you or nah. Don't get mad at me. Don't try to curse me out. I'm going to just tell you what's here. We're going to start from Aries to Pisces. We got four slots left for Cash App, PayPal, Zelle questions. It's $70. Your girl don't win up $5. I got bills to pay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Submit your payment. I'm doing them in order. Thank you, Spicy Pineapples, for moderating. Keep the comments positive, and let's jump right into Aries. Everybody hit that like button. All right, Aries, does this person want long-term with you or no? Straight to the point. Let's see. Does this person want long-term? Hey, C. Pierce, does this person want long-term with Aries or no? Nice person. Okay, that's a good card. Good intentions. This person want long term with you. Trust issues. Yep. This person do want long term with you, Aries. It says they're a good person. They got good intentions. They could just have trust issues. Hello. Ah, we love you too. So far, so good. I like this person's energy. Alicia, thank you so much for that super chat. She said, thank you for being you and doing what you do. This sip is for you, baby girl. Mm. Mm. I love you. That is good right there. Mm. Thank you for that super chat. Y'all get them super chats in too. Don't be cheap. I know y'all got paid the weekend. Somebody got mad at me. I don't like the fact that you asking for money. Bitch, I don't like the fact that you asking for a free reading. Get out of here, block. Fuck you mean. I'm on here doing all these free readings and you talking about I'm begging for money. Fuck you. Mm. 
You know what I'm saying? You got no problem asking for something free. <laughs> Just say you're broke. That's all. All right. What else is going on with Aries and this person? I can already tell they want long term with you. The fool in reverse. That's Aries energy right there. The page of cups. This person could be another Aries. They could be a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio. Hangman in reverse. Whoa, that flew out. Ten of Cups in reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse. This is somebody, you're going to take your time with them, Aries. They could have just got out of a bad connection with somebody with the Ten of Cups in reverse. They scared. They got trust issues. The fool is in reverse. You're going to have to take your time. They could be younger than you for some of you. They got a lot of baggage from a past situation with somebody they dealt with. So this is not somebody that's going to try to just jump into things. You know what I'm saying? They want to take their time. Mm -hmm. mm. That's straight to the point. But yes, they do want long term with you. Don't look at me like that. My cards don't lie. If you don't know, now you know. Anything else you need to know about this person? The three of cups, they enjoy your energy, but there's something about a breakup that they stuck on. You're going to have to give this person time. The fool is in reverse. They're not going to jump in right now with both feet wet with your ass. The devil in reverse. They want to make sure you're not toxic. They want to make sure you ain't somebody, you know what I mean? You can't blame them. Please try the Hawaiian mood Maui kettle potato chips. I don't know if I had those, but I had the purple bag. I used to eat those every day when I worked in Harlem. Me and my best friend, we used to go to the corner store, the bodega, and I would get the big bag, not the little, little tiny bag. No, I'm a woman. I would get the big bag, the Maui. All I know, I forget the name of the company. All I know is the bag was purple. And they had a whole bunch of different flavors. But that Maui onion with a ham sandwich, woo! You couldn't tell me nothing. Maui onion chips with them with that ham sandwich and some extra mayo, some onions up on there. Man. Almost as good as some damn sex. Got to sip to that. I miss you too. Mm, 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 mm. Almost time to refill my drink. This little ass glass. We about to go to Taurus. I need me a big ass glass. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so we still got four slots left for Cash App PayPal questions. Shout out to my girl, Rhonda. I did her, uh, we did a Zoom reading tonight. My girl, Rhonda, that was, a, that was a good reading. You said food is orgasmic. That's what I'm talking about, Robert. Love from India. Shout out to India. Chips and sandwiches is my kind of meal. Hell yeah. Chips and sandwich, you can't go wrong with that. I might get that tomorrow for dinner. You cannot go wrong with some chips and a sandwich. You should try the Miss Vicky spicy dill pickle chips. You know, I'm not a big spicy dill pickle person. I mean, they're not bad. I know CA got me some spicy dill, some spicy dill chips when I saw her in Houston. But I'm not crazy about spicy dill. I like jalapeno. I went to Total Wine and, pur and purchased three different types of olives. That's what I'm talking about, bitch. Tammy, a slot still available. I got four slots left, Tammy. Let's go to Taurus now. Michelle, hey, 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 Miss Hawaii. Hope all is well with you tonight. Blessings to you. Are you on Aries? I just did Aries. Yeah, girl, blessings to you too. All right, let's go to Taurus now. Taurians, does this person want long-term with you or not? Obsessed, damn. Straight off the bat, bam. This person's obsessed with you. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. 
True love. Oh, shit. And bad intentions on the bottom. Uh-uh. I don't know about this person. They obsessed with you, but they did some fuck shit with the I'm sorry card. Because what they sorry about? <laughs> you ain't sorry unless you did something wrong. I'm sorry. I ain't sorry. Sorry. I ain't sorry. Nigga, hell no. Fuck you talking about some damn sorry. You don't fuck up. You ain't got shit to be sorry about. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. What you did? Taurus, this person, sorry, they did something wrong. They obsessed with you. Hello? They feel like you're their true love, but I don't like the bad intentions on the bottom. Let's see what the tarot got. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Let's see. Hey, my New York sister, watching on vacation from Dubai. Ooh, shout out to you in Dubai, girl, and live it up. I just got off the tune in. Well, thank you, Alexis. What was your bodega order? Ooh, I would get me a nice ham sandwich, extra mayo. Don't give me no roll. I need a hero. I'm a grown ass woman. A hero. With, I like Munster cheese with my ham. Munster cheese is banging. So I would get Munster cheese, extra onions, lettuce, tomato. But I had to go to like, it depends, because some of the bodegas out in New York, some of them, they, they don't like pork, so they wouldn't have ham. So if they didn't have ham, then I'd just get me some honey turkey and some Swiss cheese. You know what I'm saying? That's what I get. i get me a couple of drinks, get me a Snapple, a Mystic, something like that. My Calypso strawberry lemonade, get some chips, you know what I'm saying? And I'm good to go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You should try chips from India. You'll love it. Maybe I will. What else we got for Taurus? Coming back to watch tomorrow. I need to do my schoolwork. Just wanted to say hello. Have a great night. Have a good night, girl. You do not want to talk to this person, Taurus. The fool. They want a second chance with you. They losing sleep over you. They worried. They stressed. They fucking buckshot is falling out. This person stressed out over you, but this somebody you don't want to talk to. The Page of Pentacles is in reverse. Whatever they sorry about, mm -mm. you pissed off. They pissed you off. Could be an Aries, could be another Earth sign. Could be another Taurus, could be a Virgo, could be a Capricorn. They do feel guilty. But whatever they did, this person's obsessed with you. Hell yeah, they want long term. It's somebody you let go of, though. Mmm. -hmm. Whatever they did was the last straw. Four cups, four pentacles in reverse. You don't want them. You healing from whatever they did. The nine of swords again. This person lose sleep over you. They stressed out. Mm -hmm. Whoever this is, you don't want their ass no more. Got to be true to myself. <laughs> this person think you they true love, but look. Bad intentions, depression. This person fucked up. They smoking cigarettes and shit. <laughs> ah! You don't want them. They messed up. They want long term with you. Yes. Little Monica, my beautiful sister. Thank you for that super chat, beautiful. You always showing love. You got some money, Little Monica, because you be you be throwing them super chats like they something like they an ass, baby. Like we in a strip club, girl. You been making me want to show you some ass and titties, something. Where you work, Luanica? Because you got some money. The way you be throwing money at me, I be like, <laughs> you got some money, girl. Where you work? Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm crazy tonight. That liquor hitting, ain't it? Yeah, we about to go to Gemini. Jim, Jimmy, Jim, Melissa, sweet, caught a love, finally, caught a live, finally, mm, a sandwich with some bomb chips, sounds fire, I'm making chile, verde, chicken, enchiladas, mm, with some Mexican rice on the side, mm, I agree, food can be orgasmic, you got that right, mm, mm, yeah, I love anything verde, that should be good. Thank you, Victoria. She said, I love your energy. Thank you. What are you drinking on? 
It's a strawberry margarita. Mm-hmm. What you said? You a nurse. Oh, no wonder you got money. Yes, come on, liquor. <laughs> CA, you crazy. Ava, hi, Miss Hawaii. How are you? How's everyone? We good up in here. How you doing, Ava? You be having chips I've never seen before in Detroit. <laughs> Always the vibe. Thank you. Mexican rice. Yeah, that shit sound good. Congrats on 100K subscribers. Thank you, Nocturnal Gemini. You said, I got strawberry pineapple abortion miss. What's that? That shit sounds scary, abortion miss. What the fuck? I ain't never heard of that. That's a real drink? I wouldn't want to drink nothing with no abortion miss. Mm -mm. Oh my God. Thank you, spicy pineapples. Do you got a P.O. box? No. I know a few of y'all asked me that. Brianna, thank you for that donation from Cash App. Thank you, my love. Shermikia, you're number two. So we got Jessica number one, Shermikia number two. Three slots left for Cash App PayPal questions. Three slots. I just had a shower. I'm squeaky clean. You going with your bass up. What other flavors those chips come on? A lot. Margaritas are the only drink I ever drink. Yeah, I love me some margaritas. Everybody, welcome Nikisha Henry. She is a member now. Thank you, Nikisha. Thank you for becoming a member. Thank you. I love you too, Brianna. Let's go to Gemini now. Jim, Jimmy, Jim. Does this person want long term with Gemini or nah? Aber Miss. Oh, yeah, I'm about to say abortion. What type of drink is that? Ain't nobody want no damn drink called no damn abortion. Gaslighting. I don't know about this person, Gemini. What you doing? What you doing? Fuck this person talking about. Ignoring. Love bombing. I don't know about this person. I'm going to be honest with you, Gemini. They a gaslighter. Sometimes they ignore you. They like to love bomb you. You may not hear from this person and they want to fucking hit your ass up. Subscribe after a nail on the head reading for a Capricorn a few days ago. Well, thank you, Dustin. I appreciate that. Thank you. I love you too. What else we got for Gemini? I don't know about this person. I don't know about this person, Gemini. Ten of Wands in reverse. Some of y'all are ignoring them. It could be an Aries. The Hermit could be a Virgo. This is somebody you keeping your distance from. I don't blame you. Justice in reverse. Could be a Libra. Mm -mm. Well, this person ain't going to let you go. Six of Swords in reverse. The Temperance. A lot of major arcana cards. The King of Swords. Mm -mm. Could be a Sag. Could be another air sign. You got a lot of signs here, Jim. But whoever this is, they plan to not go away. <coughs> think they do want long term with you but they just crazy as hell the way they going about it is not right they like to love bomb you they up oh, you got non-monogamous behind that i don't know about this person this seemed like somebody that played too many fucking games and want to keep you around for their own self this own selfish game i feel like this is somebody you've been very patient with but this person hasn't been treating you right with that justice card in reverse Mm -mm. they haven't been treating you right y'all are hilarious what else you need to know about this person Gemini I don't know about them two of wands in reverse this seemed like a time waster yeah this seemed like somebody that's a time waster that want to stress you out like come on man Come on, cat. I just heard merry-go-round. Like, this somebody that want to have you in a merry-go-round. I don't know about them, Jim. I, I see why you ignoring them. I see why you ignoring them. 
I feel like this person don't want to let you go, but then this person also don't want to give you long term. What you said, Martha, Miss Hawaii, love your joyful personality. You always put me in a good mood. Even if my sign reading sucks, I don't care. Just keep doing what you do and wish you all the best. I really appreciate that, Martha. Thank you. Because it'd be some haters on here. It'd be some people on here that don't even like me. And I don't know why I don't be bothering nobody. Yes, my first time here, you were right about that, Virgo. Used to be with her. That's what she do to me. I'm tired of it. I'm done. I don't blame you. Hi, Kim. Girl, give my girl Sharmikia the tea. She's always talking about you. I got you. That's what I got for you, Gemini. I'll be looking for you, lady. You be looking for me. I'll be looking for you, too. Gemini, you already know what I was saying, though. You already know about this person. They call it murder. Come on, let's light some sage because these readings getting kind of crazy. We going to go now to who we at? Gemini. Cancer? We at cancer already? Oh, shit. Okay, everybody hit the like button. Big up yourself, Hawaii. Thank you. Big up. Big up. <laughs> you said he's holding on to my energy for dear life. It's exhausting. Currently on a month-long vacation in Seoul just to get away. Enjoy your vacation, girl. That's a blessing to be able to go away for a month. I don't like being away like too long. Like when I was in my early 20s, I used to be able to take long vacations, but now I'll be wanting to come home. I love you too, Kanisha. My homegirl said you a superhero. I like that, CA. I'm one of your favorite readers, Kanisha. Thank you. I love y'all. Y'all so good for me. Y'all my family. Everybody hit the like button. Oh, come on, get them likes up. Come on. Thank you, Ava. Let's go to cancer. We got three slots left for Cash App, PayPal, Zell questions. Three slots. Okay. Love you, best reader. Fun as shit. Thank you, Stephanie. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. What we got for cancer? Does this person want long term with you, cancer, or no? False promises, social media, gossip, and the chase. Nope. This person run their mouth too much. They could be gossip around you and this person, or they be gossiping about you. This is somebody that be delivering you false promises. And there's something about social media here. Queen Jay Z, what's up, girl? This person could want you to chase them. Look, narcissist behind that. I love me some you. Thank you, Dana. I love you too. Let's see what we got here. Thank you, Spicy Pineapples, again for moderating. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see what we got for cancer. There's either gossip around you and this person or there's a lot of gossip with this person running their mouth. You see the five of wands. Some of y'all could be born on a fifth. Ten of wands. This person too fucking difficult. Three of wands. A lot of fire here. So some of y'all, this could be a fire sign. Four of pentacles in reverse. You've already let this person's ass go. You about ready to let this person's ass go. They annoy you. They too much fucking work. And some of y'all feel like this person want to be chased. They could be narcissistic. Hell no. Got time for this. They make, they make this shit too fucking hard, man. Don't got to be this damn hard. I love you too, Anya. Tell me more about this person can't for cancer here. This is crazy. Social media. They could be watching your social media. You could have met them on social media. 
They, they don't do shit. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. They don't do shit. I'm getting mad now. This person don't put no type of effort. They want their ass kissed. You about to leave, they ass six of swords. No, this is too much. I'm getting mad. Page of cup. Fuck that. <laughs> no. Uh -uh. You about to leave this person's ass. They getting on my nerve. Could be an Aries, could be another water sign. No. It's too much. They want to sit back with their big ass, stinking ass, crusty feet. And think you're supposed to sit back and fucking, hell no. Fuck they think this is. This person want to play games with you. That's what they want. What's the gossip around this person? What's the gossip? What's the gossip? Ain't shit happening. Cat chariot in reverse, the hermit. The gossip is you about to leave. <laughs> That's what's the gossip. Come on, man. No. You've been honest with this person. You've been open. You've been trying with them. And ain't shit happening. This person think you're supposed to do everything. No. They making this shit way too hard. Some of y'all, this person got drama. They want you to compete for them. What the fuck they think this is, the fucking Olympics? I'm getting mad. This ain't no damn Olympics. You ain't no damn, what's that dude's name? You ain't no Michael Phelps. Sit your stinking ass down. Let me get my drink cup. Hold on. I got to refill my drink. Hold on. You ain't no damn Michael Phelps. Sit your flat ass down. Talk about some damn compete. Fuck you. It's my shaker. Y'all like it? Right there. Right there. Ain't no damn Michael Phelps. Sit your flat, stinking ass down. Talking about some damn compete. Compete these nuts. I'm on one tonight. Got time for these people tonight with this bullshit. <laughs> Fuck you mean. Show ass down. <laughs> no. And even if it was Michael Phelps, I wouldn't compete for his ass either. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Person don't want no damn long term with you. Person want to damn get on your nerves. They want to be chased. They want a game. Ow. <laughs> Let's go to the next sign. Let's go to Leo. Moving right along. Got like this sage, man. Get them likes up. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Get them likes up. Come on. Come on, get up there. Like that sage, you know what I'm saying? Because we got Michael Phelps people thinking you supposed to damn jump through fucking fire hoops and shit. Let's go. You said he needs to get his flat ass away from me. Hell yeah, that flat ass. <laughs> you welcome, Candace. Want some damn compete. Competing for you. My hands is powder white. I need some oil. This is the oil I was telling y'all about from Victoria's Secret, the new oil they got. I love it. Because my skin be dry. So I like oil, but I got to mix oil with the cream. You know what I mean? I get them elbows. Because you know them elbows. You should be drying in the damn slave's neck. <laughs> Gotta get it up in there. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta try this, my ladies. It's called, this one is lavender and vanilla. Relax. It's con conditioning body oil with 
coconut oil from Victoria's Secret. They got new oils. They good. I love them. It helped with my knees and all that. You know what I'm saying? Get them knees, them elbows. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to Leo. Let's go to Leo. Get you some straws. No, I don't want no straws. What you mean get me some straws? Get your mama some straws. What you mean get me some straws? Y'all be too demanding on the internet, trying to tell people what to do all the time. <laughs> the fuck I need some straws for? I don't need no straws. Get your mama some straws. <laughs> Leo. You look beautiful. Thank you, Tiffany. The hell, man. People on the internet, man. They always trying to tell you what to do. Leave me alone. I don't want no straws. I got three three slots left for Cash App, PayPal, Zelle questions. I love you too, Melissa. <laughs> Leo, this person want to be with you or not? Unappreciated. <laughs> Vibes. Unfinished business and closed off. This person closed off. Mm. They think you got good vibes. It says unfinished business. So they feel like they got unfinished business with you, but they could be kind of closed off. You got the narcissist card behind that. So I don't know about this person. Some of y'all feel unappreciated already. Thank you, spicy pineapple. Some of y'all feel unappreciated already, Leo. Hello? What else we got? Does this person want long-term with Leo or no? Page of wands in reverse. Four of cups in reverse. The Hermit and the Eight of Pentacles. Some of y'all, there's somebody you work with, you met at work. The Hermit. Could be a Virgo, could be another fire sign, could be another Leo. Aries, Sag. I don't get it, because I feel like it's a good vibe between you and this person, but then I also feel like you feel unappreciated by them and they close off. Tell me more about this person, please. I adore you too. Ten of Wands in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. King of Swords in reverse. Two of Pentacles. <sighs> yeah, this person is... I feel like some of y'all just ready to throw the towel in with this person. They talk a good game. King of Swords in reverse. They could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You feel unappreciated. I see you distancing yourself. You feel like this person is, they making shit too hard. Some of y'all want to talk to other people. Mine email last night after four weeks for the streets. Good guy, but can't control his shit. You see what I'm saying? I don't know about this person. I feel like that's why you going distant. I feel like that's why you've distanced yourself already, Leo. They don't even know what they want. Some of y'all with that unfinished business card, they can have somebody from their past they still fucking with. And this person being the king of swords in reverse, they could be kind of mean to you, Leo. They could be mean. That's why you got that closed off card. This person could be mean, mean as a snake, my grandma used to say. My grandma say, look at him, mean as a snake. <laughs> yeah. Person mean, man. And it's crazy because it seemed like y'all got good vibes together with the vibes card. But this is the type of person that make you feel unappreciated. The moon, they be hiding shit. Nah, man, the fool is in reverse. This person don't want no long-term relationship with you. They play too many fucking games. You hit the nail on the head. Thank you. The fool is in reverse. So I don't see them ready to jump in with both feet wet. And they lie too much. They keep too many secrets with the moon. It's a lot you don't know about them. 
How do we send a question to email after payment? You email Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com your question after you submit payment. And thank you for that super chat. This person could be mean. And Leo, you know y'all could be mean too. Y'all damn Leos. But this person could be meaner than you. Damn. Mm. What's the advice for Leo? I feel like you should just stay away from this person. Like, yep. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse. Be mean right back. Queen of Swords, King of Swords in reverse. You want to be nasty? Y'all could be nasty too. You know y'all know how to be nasty. <laughs> and I don't seem like the most positive, you know what I mean? I'm supposed to say, pray for this person. Keep them in your prayers. Uplift them. Fuck that. Give them that shit back. I ain't going to lie to you. No. Sometimes you going, you give them that shit back. God forgive me. I'm supposed to be on here preaching and telling y'all to, to pray and rub holy oil on their forehead. Fuck that. You give them that snake right back. Fuck that shit. You say, yeah, he's a liar. Very sneaky. Who the fuck want to deal with that? Mm-hmm. Toby, what's up, baby? Toby, that's my husband. Drug dog rasta. You said being kind all the time gets you walked over. You right, Kiwi. Give them they, that mean shit right back. Sorry. Sometimes I'm tired of being nice. Fuck you. Don't start no stuff, won't be no stuff. You better preach, Summer. I love y'all, yo. Y'all love me for real. That's why y'all was led to this channel. Y'all are me. We going to Virgo. Thank you, Spicy Pineapples, again for moderating. Mm-hmm. You said forget you next. That's what I'm talking about, Leslie. I'm serious vibes with Key. I'm serious. I don't know how to like the video. What you mean you don't know how to like the video? Hit that like button. Come on, don't be playing with me up in here. <laughs> Italian Stallion. I agree. Hello, Miss Hawaii. Glad to be here. We happy to have you, Italian Stallion. That's a sexy name. All right. Number three, we got J Solo. J Solo is number three. Thank you for your payment, J Solo. Make sure you email me your question. All right. Everybody's email me their question. Two slots left for Cash App, PayPal, Zell questions. Two slots, and I'm done. Hilarious. I believe the cancer read is for the other young lady he was seeing. Me, she a cancer and I'm a Leo. He must be still seeing her third party. Mm. Mm. Virgo, does this person want long term with you or no? True love. Oh, shit. Quick start. <laughs> Y'all fuck quick, huh? Good intentions. This person wants, yes, this person wants long term with you. Straight off the bat. They got good intentions. They see you as they true love already. And things could have started quickly with y'all. Some of y'all, you hit the, you was in the bedroom dumb quick. Bang, 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 bang. I know that's why I'm laughing because it's the truth. But your faces and the way you say F you is hilarious. I know I got to work on my, my um, cursing. I know. Virginia, what's up, baby girl? What else we got for Virgo? This person want to be with you long time? Hell yeah, they do. They feel like you, they true love, and they are a good person. They got good intentions. What else about this person, please? Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you, ancestors. They think you talking to other people. Yep, yeah, uh-huh. Hello, the fool in reverse, Aries. Six of wands. This could be somebody famous in the public eye, popular. They don't trust you, whoever this is. They don't trust you. They think you're still fucking with somebody from your past. Don't look at me like that. You can't always blame the other person. Oh, but maybe she's talking about she's got the energies reversed. No, I don't got the energies reversed. The energies is straightforward. Ain't no damn energies reversed. I'm talking about your ass. 
They don't trust you, whoever this is, Virgo. Could be a Scorpio, Aries. They think you, they're not sure if you be telling them the truth or not. They think you fucking with somebody from your past. And I don't care if you roll your eyes at me. I don't fucking care. So I'm going to give you the truth. Raw, no condom. This person don't trust you. Some of y'all, they think you talking to other people. Some of y'all, they think you get too much attention. You a faithful woman. That's good. Let them know that. Some of y'all be too up in people's faces too damn much. You're too popular. You get too much attention. This person don't like it. That's why you got intimidated on the bottom. They not sure if you be telling the truth or not. Could be a Libra, Aries, Scorpio. You know, sometimes we don't see other people's side. We just see our side. And that's where you're done fucked up. Because you got to see both sides. But why does person feel that way about you? Some of you, you get a lot of attention or something. You could be popular, famous. And for some reason, they think you're dealing with a past person. Or you're not over an ex. This person could be a little bit emotionally dependent. I want to know more about them. Is it something Virgo did? Why would this person not trust Virgo? What happened to make them feel that way? They just don't think you over an ex. Or you still dealing with somebody from your past. Oh, you don't, you're not, you're not very emotionally open. My bro has the biggest heart, but these motherfuckers take her kindness for weakness. I hear you. Now I want some chips. Get some. I tried those honey barbecue chips you were eating. They were in fact fire. I told you. Yes, I finally made it to a live. Hey, beautiful Miss White Tower. I'm on time for Libra. You show sure is. Why are you on point though? I don't know. But what I do know is Virgo is if you want this person, you're going to have to open up more emotionally. I know you are herb sign and shit, but you're going to have to give them, you have to give them a little bit more emotion. Let this person know you feel them a little bit more. They need to feel some emotion from you. How you doing? Where you at? I'm care for you. I'm feeling you. Let's do this. Let's do that. Hello. You got Cool Ranch Doritos, my favorite. They want to make sure they're not wasting their time with you because whoever this is, they do want long term with you. But emotionally, you're not doing it for them, especially if this is a water sign. This is a water sign. You got to give them more. Hit their phone up more. Text them more. Tell them how you feel more. I know you were earth sign and y'all real earthy and shit. But fuck that. <laughs> Hello? Let's go to Libra. Two slots left. Cash at PayPal Zell. Can I get emotion from somebody? You crazy. I love Virgos. They are freaky. Woo, Toby. I like Virgos too. They can have, they, they know how to fuck. Virgos, we know how to put it down in the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? From a Scorpio, that's props right there. Because we the one that ruined, you know what I mean? We the one that run the, uh, we rule the, the sexual organs. Yeah, man, I like having sex with Virgos. Especially when they got that, uh, thank you, ACL. Especially when they got their Venus and Scorpio. Woo! Woo! Libra, does this person want long-term with Libra or what? New beginnings. Acting crazy. Uh-uh. I'm sorry. 
Blind side. Mm -hmm. This person crazier than a fucking bed bug. <laughs> they sorry about something. It says new beginning, so I don't know if they want to just start fresh with you. Seem like somebody you got history with. Blind side. This person nuts. Look at this person here. They about to throw a damn sledgehammer through somebody's car. Who the fuck is this, Libra? It say they sorry. What they sorry for? Need to take their ass to the damn mental asylum. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, you did, Tyshawn. Scorpio here currently talking to a Leo. Mm. Let's see. What's going on with this person here for Libra? This person, do they want long term? King of Wands in reverse. This person a straight up hoe. This person could be an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. No, this person like being single. This person like being single. Hangman. What the fuck they want to hang for? Four wands in reverse. This person don't want no relationship. They don't want long term. This person think you supposed to wait. What the hell going on with these people? You said I'm a hoe too. That's what I'm talking about, Casey. You respect being a hoe. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong being a hoe. You only live once. I be feeling bad for them people who talk about they only had sex with one person, two people. Damn, you going to die like that? You think that's a good way to live? Mm, all this penis, all this vagina out here in the world, and you only had two of them? Damn, you going to be old, looking back, talking about, oh, I wonder what it would have been like if I would have, well, too late now. You're old, you're ugly. I don't want your ass now. You should have lived it up when you was younger. Now you're all old and shriveled up and you think somebody's supposed to want your old stinking shitty ass? No. Should have had fun when you was younger. Making fun of everybody else, calling them whores. Yep. They gonna have a story though. <laughs> Hell yeah, you better live your life while you can. Shit. I ain't playing. I'm in my 30s too. Shit, I'm gonna have fun. Buck all these hoes all I want. <laughs> you can act like you got a virgin coochie all you want to. Not me. I'm going to have fun. Mm. Cause you're going to be old and stinking one day. And you ain't going to be able to do nothing. And you're going to look back and say, damn. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. But you was trying to act all noble and shit. Coochie all dried up. Libra, this person don't want nothing long term. This person is crazy as hell. They a whore. They think you're supposed to wait around for them. Three of wands, Pisces, energy, the hangman. Fuck is this shit? This person like being single. They like doing their own thing. They don't want nothing long term. Four wands in reverse. They don't want nothing stable. This person play too many games. Five of swords, seven of swords. No. Hell no, they don't want nothing long term with you. Person is crazy. But they do feel bad. Anything else about this person Libra need to know about? This is a damn shame. The Empress. And you know what's crazy? They know what they got with you. See, two of pentacles. They want to talk to you and other people. They know what they got with you. With the Empress, that's your energy. They know how fine you are. Everything you got going on for yourself. This person know you wanted a million on some Aaliyah shit. But they still want to talk to you and other people. This person is a little crazy. I feel like you ain't even worried about this person. You focusing on you. You know this person need to go to the mental asylum. How they feel about uh, Libra? Hey, some of y'all going to block this person? <laughs> or you just going to just stop talking to them? Page of swords, and they're going to keep watching you and spying on you. Person don't want no relationship. They want to be a thought. I'm going to tell you the truth, whether you want to hear it or not. I don't care if you get mad at me. 
I don't care if you roll your eyes at me. Because I see you rolling your damn eyes. Girl, this last week and I had fun a couple of times with a couple of guys. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Mm, you a straight up thought. That's what I'm talking about. You said a couple of guys. Damn. I remember that happened years ago when I went to California. Woo! That's when I was a straight up thought. I'm not going to lie. I was like, what, 23? Mm. I went to LA. I was, I'm not going to kid you. I'm not even going to tell y'all all my business. I was in LA about four days. I must have, mm, no. I was running through them. That's all I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? That was one of the best weekends of my life, though. I never forget, I, that was the first time, well, not the first, one of the first times I smoked weed and I got so paranoid and they came and knocked on the hotel door. I never forget, I was at the Wilshire, on Wilshire Avenue, Wilshire Boulevard in LA and they came and knocked on the hotel door and I was so paranoid and high, I hid under the bed and my friend, she went and answered the door and they was like, y'all been smoking weed, we can smell it, there's been complaints, you know what I'm saying? They're like, y'all gonna have to pay a, a fee. So they said we had to pay like five hundred dollars because we were smoking. We we went against the rules. But I was under the bed like this. I was so scared, you know what I'm saying? That shit was funny. But man, I had about I had a different guy every day of the week. I was straight up whole. That shit was fun though. I think the best one I had sex with. His name was Malik. He's a Libra. Speaking of, I'm doing Libra too. I just got off a of Libra. He was a Libra. I wonder how Malik is doing. He tore my ass up. You know what I'm saying? We were so raunchy. We was having sex. My best friend was in the room. His friend was in the room. We was fucking right there with that. We didn't give a fuck. And he had a big penis. But it was big and thick. Because, you know, sometimes they can have a big penis, but it's, it's, it, they can have a long one, but it's skinny. Like a pencil. Like Tiger. We don't want that. You know what I'm saying? You have a tiger penis. No. Or they can have a fat one, but it's short. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, we need both. You got to be long and fat. But he had the length and he had the width. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. And his mouth was good. Okay? So he had the whole full package. I wonder how Malik is doing. I wonder how Malik is doing. He definitely top three. You know, you got the top people you had sex with. You be like, so-and-so, this one, he definitely was top three. He definitely was top three. But speaking of number one, Scorpio, let's talk. Because we already know Scorpio was number one. That's the one that ripped my thong up. You know what I'm saying? You said, I need the girth. <laughs> Ain't nobody topping Scorpio, bitch. Ain't nobody topping us. What you thought this was? It's morphing time. Morphin' time. Scorpio. Ain't nobody fucking better than us. Ain't nobody sucking, licking better than us. You thought this was, man. We rule the motherfucking sexual organs. That's us. So who the fuck you think gonna come through and do it better than us? Nobody. And if you ain't never been with a Scorpio, I feel bad for you. Scorpio, this person want long term or what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Reconciliation. Ah! Breadcrumbing. Misunderstanding and Snapchat. Whoever this is, reconciliation, but you got breadcrumbing. Somebody getting breadcrumb. Uh-uh, we ain't no damn pigeons from the damn Home Alone movie. We ain't got time for no damn breadcrumbs. I like bread, but I don't want the crumbs. Tell me more about this person. Does this person want long-term with Scorpio or what? The tower. Of course you start with your own damn card. The queen of wands. The six of swords in reverse. This person can't go nowhere. They could be another Scorpio. They could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're very attracted to you. This person can't go nowhere. You done fuck this person's life up with the tower. Tell me more, please. Ten of Pentacles. Seem like they want long-term with you. 
Six of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. You this person's worst worst. Wish fulfillment. <laughs> Queen of Swords in reverse. Four of Swords in reverse. Ten of Wands. This somebody won't be with you, but they feel like you the one bread coming in. You mean as fuck to this person. Scorpio like, get away, fuck you. You know we could be mean sometimes, even the ones that we love. I need a chip. We're going to do the red hot chips tonight. You mean as hell, Scorpio. Don't look at me like that. Well, she ain't talking to me. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mm-hmm. I'm talking to you for sure. This person's trying to reconcile with you. They want to be with you long term. They can't move on. They really attracted to you, but you be acting real mean. Scorpio be like, fuck your mother. You know, sometimes with Scorpios, <laughs> sometimes we act mean when we like somebody. I don't know why we do that, Scorp. Sometimes we act mean when we like somebody. I don't know why we do that, Scorp. Why you do that, Scorp? You're mean. You know it's true. You can get mad at me all you want to. You act mean sometimes, Scorpio, when you like somebody. Why? You know what I think it is? <laughs> I think... It's when somebody do something, the littlest thing to piss you off, that's it. We'd be like, fuck you. Even if we love you, right? We'd be like, nah, fuck this motherfucker. Because we got feelings for you, and then you do one little thing to piss us off, and we like, nah, man. That's what this person did. <laughs> they did something, because you got misunderstanding here. They did something. It could be the littlest thing, and Scorpio like, fuck you. Scorpio wants you to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? I could talk like that because I'm a Scorpio. Because mm -hmm. how you feel about this person, Scorpio? You mean as fuck to them. The sun in reverse. You see, they did something to piss you off. You the one bread from him. They did something with the sun in reverse. Could be a Leo. Thank you for that super chat, Marley. Marley said, because we not for the week. Tell me more about this person's feelings. Something happened with the tower. You done shook this person's world up. The Knight of Wands in reverse. They think you out here being a thought. Mm-hmm. The Fool in reverse, Aries energy. I think this person do want long-term with you. I think they feel like you the one breadcrumbing them. There was some type of misunderstanding. It could be a Virgo between the two of you. Now they think you out here in these streets. Because they seeing you as they wish fulfillment. Some of y'all gave them the best coochie of their life. Best penis of their life. Bang, 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 bang. Because <laughs> this person got the six of swords in reverse. They ain't going nowhere. They ain't going nowhere. You could be as mean as you want. Curse them out. Bread crumb them. Give them bread. What's that other shit called? Biscuits. <laughs> Croissants. All them crumbs. They ain't going nowhere. They feel like you be talking to other people. You care about this person. They disappointed you in some way, though. And once, we, once you upset Scorpio a little bit, that's it, man. We on your ass. I don't know why we act like that, Scorpio. We got to work on it. Thank you, Luanica. Thank you for that super chat, girl. I don't know why we act like that. We difficult, Scorps. You know we are. We are, but we aren't. It's like we are difficult, but we aren't. That makes sense? We difficult, but we not. But Scorpio, you can't expect nobody to be perfect. You not. Scorpio, like, what you talking about? I am perfect. <laughs> you like red lobster biscuits? Me too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm.
You love Scorpio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We love you too. They got to level up to understand us. You right, Nate. I'm not going to lie. We a little bit difficult though. <laughs> <laughs> We are. Unless you know Scorpios well, you grew up with one, your mother, your brother, your sister, your daddy is one, your best friend. If you don't know Scorpios well, you're going to be like, you're going to be fucking shook. You ain't going to know how to handle us. Oh, this is a big one right here, Scorp. Mmm. -hmm. You know I got that deep throat. Mm. That's that Scorpio chip. Lime flavored chips is your favorite. Have I had those before? I don't know. You so fine, Mr. White. Thank you. Even while I'm eating chips, thank you. Got chips all in my teeth. Ah. You know I got that deep throat. Love you, Scorps. You're drinking water over here. I feel the heat from your chips. Yeah, they hot. Jalapeno and lime tortilla chips are the bomb. Yeah, those are good. That's what I eat. I eat those when I have my queso dip. Mmm. They are hard to find in Connecticut. Really? You gonna have to order them online, Valerie. Yeah, Amazon. You'd be surprised. You get all your snacks through them. Mmm. You see me sipping. Hey, Rhonda. How you doing, girl? Me and Rhonda, we just had our reading tonight on Zoom. We had a good time. Rhonda got her a fine ass man. You go, girl. Let's do Sag. I love love stories. Like, I love when I'm talking to y'all and y'all got y'all soulmates. That shit make me so happy. I love when y'all got y'all soulmates. When I do readings and y'all be like, I love that. I'd be like, yay, this is why I do this. I want y'all to be with y'all soulmates. I want y'all busting nuts. You know what I'm saying? Sag. Hawaii, you need to have a Scorpio Live with just us chatting up. Yeah, I used to do Scorpio Lives. I haven't done one in a while. Morning, Miss Hawaii. I'm pleased to see you live. Thank you, gorgeous. Morning. Where the hell you at talking about this morning? Sad. This person went long term with you or what? I'm sorry. Why this car keep why this car keep coming out tonight? All this I'm sorry. Do better. Don't be sorry. Ho, be careful. Cheating. Oh, come the fuck out of here with this shit. Disrespect. Nah, shady. Right in this person's fucking face. I don't like them. Sag. This somebody that's disrespectful, shady, could have cheated on you. They talk about they some damn sorry. Don't be sorry, ho. Be careful. What you talking about? I don't like this person. I don't like them. They disrespectful. They shady as fuck. They don't do a motherfucking thing. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. No, this person don't want no relation with you. I don't think you want one with their ass either. Fool in reverse. Aries. Mm-mm. Because you coming up as a knight of wands. I don't think you want this person's ass either. Hello? The world in reverse. The nine of pentacles. This person like to be single. Ten of Wands, Sun, Leo energy. This person is too damn hard to deal with. Shouldn't have to be this. Ooh.
This person is too much to deal with. They're a cheater. They're disrespectful. They're shady. No. No. I don't like them. I don't care if they come cross watching. They can kiss my ass. I feel like you don't give a fuck. Because you coming up as a knight of wands. You out here living your life too. Nah, tell me more about this person, man. The strength. The two of cups. The crazy thing is they do feel a very strong connection with you. This person been getting on your nerves. Eight of cups in reverse and they won't leave. They won't leave. When this person is away from you, death in reverse. This person won't leave. Eight of cups in reverse. They won't walk away from you, but they won't change. This is annoying. You don't want to change, but you don't want to leave. What the fuck? It's annoying. The strength is here. This person know they could do better, but they don't want to do better. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't. Talking phase, love bombing, and trash. Some of y'all, this person is straight up trash. Nah, I got like my sage. Nah. Mm -mm. This person right here, Sag, I don't know about them. They don't want to let you go, but they also don't want to change. This person is lazy when it comes to this connection. They lazy. Don't look at me like that. I'm going to tell you the truth, whether you like it or not. I don't care about what you like, but you're going to get this truth. They don't want to walk away from you because they feel a strong connection with you, but they also don't want to change. Person is shady. Look at this fox face. Look at the fox. Talk about. Look at the fox. Straight up shady. Because if you feel a connection that strongly, then you should change. <laughs> the hell are you talking about? Some you sorry. You ain't sorry about shit. <clears throat> right in your face. Spit in your face, the baby face, the damn mother face, the father face, your great grandmama face. Sick of this shit. Play no games with me. Now I need some chips. Girl, I love your energy so much. Thank you. I'm getting sick of this shit. <laughs> Come on. Y'all want some? Do better. Sick of this shit. <laughs> Go to Capricorn. Y'all want to see my boo? He crazy as hell. He's a straight up thug. I love him though. Y'all see my boo? Don't he look crazy as hell? He holding the gun. Don't he look crazy as hell? Look at him with King Vaughn. He crazy as hell. But he's so cute, but he's so crazy. He's so crazy. He is straight up thug. Why he act like that, y'all? Why I got to fall for the crazy ass people? Look at him. He's so cute. But he's such a thug. Why he got to act like that? Look at that. That's a mug shot. Look at them. That's my boo. You said he's holding a gun. <laughs> oh, God. Scorpion shit. These are the people that we attract. The damaged ones. The crazy ones. 
Let's go to Capricorn. Speaking of Capricorn, that's his damn sign. You said more, please. I ain't showing you no more pictures of his crazy ass because you love thuggery. Shit, he's a cutie. I know, he's crazy as hell. That's your new guy. Oh, God, help me, Jesus, help me. Straight out of Chi-Town. Yes! Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> he look young. Of course, I don't do no old-ass man. I like him young. Milk behind the ears. I don't do no damn old men. Hell no, I don't want nobody my age. <laughs> oh, God, I don't want nobody my age. Hell no. Mm-mm. Luanica said, she crying. I don't want no old ass man. My grandma used to be like, I don't want no shitty ass man. I'd be like, grandma, you don't want that guy right there? She'd be like, that old man right there, that old ass motherfucker? No, I want that old ass man. He probably got shit in his drawers. <laughs> I'd be like, grandma, why are you saying that? That man like 50. I want that old ass man. He probably got shit in his drawers. I want a young man. <laughs> My grandma used to tear old men up. She said, the only thing I like old is old money and country ham. <laughs> I said, grandma, I think that's where I got it from. That's why I like younger guys. I got that from my grandma because my mom not like that. My mom is very conservative. I'm not like that. I like young guys. I don't want no old ass man with shit in his drawers. <laughs> Capricorn. Hold on, let me check. He a Capricorn too. His birthday, January third. He look good though. You got mad like my baby look good. You got mad though, like you got admit. You got admit. You know what I'm saying? He fine. He fine as fuck. You got admit. Look at him with King Vaughn right there. That was his best friend, King Vaughn. R.I.P. King Vaughn. Yeah, like the thug ass niggas. Oh, God, help me. I need help. I need help. I'm on here helping y'all. I can't even help my damn self. Mm -mm. God, help me, please. Capcom! This person want long term with you? Shit, I got issues. Them thug dudes. Exactly! What's wrong with me? I got an issue. I got problems. I need therapy. I ain't gonna lie. Shit, I ain't going to no damn therapy. Fuck that therapist. They need therapy. The damn therapists need therapy. Ain't nobody gonna sit here and tell me no shit. I need help. You got hurt acting crazy. This is the liquor talking now. Uncertain. Fuck this person, man. Hurt, acting crazy, uncertain, and trash. I mean, okay, I'm not going to say fuck this person. This person uncertain whether they want long-term with you or not. They don't know. They've been hurt. They crazy. They black. They ugly. No, you don't boo them thugs fine like wine. That shit. Girl, I got sun conjunct my Pluto at zero degrees. I need help. But it's okay. At least I know it. She, I ain't perfect. She, I need help. The hermit in reverse. <laughs> I can help y'all. I can't help my damn self for nothing. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups in reverse. You know what's interesting about this person, Capricorn? They're not talking to nobody else. They only fucking with you. Could be a Virgo, could even be another Earth sign. But Eight of Cups. Oh, you about ready to walk away from whoever this is. You about ready to walk away from whoever this is. I need a chip because the chip will help me understand a little bit more. That's why I don't like talking to y'all when I'm tipsy because y'all make fun of me. I be telling y'all too much when I'm tipsy. I feel like... I don't know, Cap.
cap. I like this person. I'm not going to lie. I like them. And you know I'm going to tell you the truth. I like this person. They just moving slower than molasses out of the crack of my ass to yours. And you've been patient with them. <laughs> you've been patient, Cap. But this person is uncertain. I don't know. I need more cards because I'm trying to understand. Like, I love you too. Your intuition, you don't know what to do. See what I'm saying? The king of cups. This person got feelings for you. The ten of wands. This person could be a cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio. This person got feelings for you. But this person done dealt with some trash. I hate to say this, but you might have to prove yourself to whoever this is. Some of y'all don't want to hear this shit. Because whoever this is, and I see you ready to give up, Cap, but I feel like whoever this is, they do got feelings for you. This person got a big-ass heart. They coming up as the king of cups. They got a big-ass heart. They just don't know if they should give it to you or not. I don't think this is a bad person. And I see your intuition is off right now. This person is a little crazy. Maybe they dealt with some crazy-ass people. They've been hurt with the hurt card here. But I see you ready to walk away because you've been trying with this person. They got feelings for you. Just the fool is in reverse. This person don't want to jump in with both feet wet. You already brought them out of their shell a little bit. What should Cap do? Five of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse. Ace of Cups. Queen of Swords. You know what's crazy? You holding back emotionally too. You holding back emotionally too. That's not fair. Because you want this person to be fucking Aladdin and Romeo and shit. And you ain't opening up emotionally either. You're not. Don't tell me you are. You're lying. The Queen of Cups is in reverse. You want this person to pour out a fucking sympathy to you, but you ain't doing shit emotionally. Y'all gonna have to meet each other halfway. That's not fair. You think they supposed to be writing you a fucking 10 page poem and you ain't fucking doing shit. Nah, queen of swords. You want them to fucking write you some poetry and you ain't writing shit. No, that's not fair. You're going to have to open up emotionally too. Y'all going to have to take steps, baby steps. Because you got the king and the queen of cups and you are in reverse. Don't tell me no shit about you trying. No, you're not. You want this person to open up and write you a fucking 20 page poem and you ain't doing shit. Nah, you're going to have to open up emotionally. You want this person. They dealt with some straight up trash. They've been hurt. They got a crazy side to them too. I'm not going to lie, but it's a good type of crazy. You got uncertain here. They uncertain whether or not they can let themselves be free with you. Because this person been hurt. You got to open up emotionally too. That's not fair. This person got a big heart and you want a piece of it, but you ain't giving them shit. Oh, but I told them that I want to see them. That's not opening up emotionally. Talk about emotions. I want to see you crying. What are you talking about? I'm talking about emotions. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Not no damn I want to see you. That ain't opening up emotionally. That ain't shit. I gotta refill my drink. 
We going to Aquarius. Hold on. Let me go get my damn drink. Talk about you opening up emotionally. You ain't doing goddamn thing. Talk about I want to see you. And you think that's some damn opening up emotionally. Sit your ass down. Mm-hmm. Your Uncle Elroy. Don't care how high you get, as long as you let me hit that shit. Uh-oh, the drink getting low. Damn. Well. Ain't no more drink left. And I only do one of these a day, so I can't make no more. Well. Your Uncle Elroy. Where my cheese it's at? Fuck this shit. I know how y'all Capricorns do. Shit. Excuse me. Didn't do nothing. Thank you for that super chat. I don't know if these are still fresh. Mm, mm -hmm. Let's go to Aquarius now. Mm-hmm. They real fresh, because I use the chip clip. Could you leave these open and shits be harder than rock? Mm, y'all gonna stop laughing at me. <laughs> That's why I don't like drinking around y'all, because y'all be making fun of me. Mm-hmm. Mm. Gotta close them up like this. Right? And take the clip. Bam, just like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Aquarius, you love chips. Yeah, I love chips too, Rachel. Mm-hmm. This is my last little bit of my drink left. That's good right there, y'all. I went to the liquor store today to stock up on my cast amigos. The guy behind the counter, he had me cracking up because I bought the coin tray and I bought the Casamigos. He said, ha! somebody's having fun tonight. Ha! I was like, I was like, yeah, he was like, ha! margarita type of night, ain't it? He was real cool. You know what I'm saying? He already knew what I was on. He said, ha! somebody's having fun tonight. Ha! I was like, yo. He a cool ass white dude, you know what I mean? He already knew what I was getting from what I bought, you know what I'm saying? I guess he know the coin tray, so good. Yo, I'm watching Drink Masters on Netflix, y'all watch that? I love that show, I started watching it last night, Drink Masters. That shit is cool, cause I love drinks and shit, so. He was in your business in a nice way. <laughs> He was all up in my business. For real. He loves his job. Yeah, you could tell because he knew exactly what I was making. I like going to the liquor store in the white people area. All right, let's see what we got for Aquarius. Does this person want to be with Aquarius or what? Third party. Damn! Ghosting. Damn! Trust issues. Shady. This person is straight up shit. I don't get this person. Okay, you know what? It's something weird about this person. Third party, ghosting, trust issues, and shady. Hang out, hurt. You know, I'm trying to figure out about this person, Aquarius. Either they got a third party or they think you got one. Because somebody got ghosted. I don't know if you ghosted them or they ghosted you. And this person got trust issues. But it doesn't make sense with the shady card and ghosting. Some of y'all, this person, somebody put them in a third party situation. So they act shady with you because they got trust issues. They could be ghosting you because they think you got a third party. This person is kind of weird. Page of Wands. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This person had a horrible love life.
you know, I can't figure this person out. I can't figure this person out. Uh -uh, I can't figure them out. You got Aries, Leo, Sag, Heavy Sag, Cancer, Pisces here. I can't figure this person out. They play a lot of games. But this person been through it in love. This is like somebody who been hurt and they feel like they gonna hurt other people because they been hurt. Does that make sense? It's like this person been hurt, so now they want to hurt everybody. Because whoever this is, I feel like they like you. I feel like they get excited when they talk to you, like all that good shit. But this person act funny. They ghost you, they disappear, they act shady. Because they got trust issues themselves. I don't get this person. They could be younger than you. Or they just not as mature as you. I don't get them. And I see you starting to distance yourself from them. Because some of y'all, they ghosted you or you think they got a third party. Tell me more about this person's feelings for you. This shit don't make no sense. The queen of pentacles. The death. Scorpion energy. Five of pentacles in reverse, four of swords in reverse. They fuck with you. They think you got like a very like stable energy. You're very caring. You're very nurturing. I feel like with the death card here, you have definitely brought forth a different side of this person. But I don't know what's up with this person. Like, I feel like they've been hurt and now their energy is like, I want to hurt other people with this five of swords. Y'all have like a spiritual connection. It's something about your intuition here with the high priestess. So trust your intuition, Aquarius. What's the advice for Aquarius? What should Aquarius do in regards to this person? Two of swords. You don't fucking know what to do. Ten of pentacles in reverse. I don't think this, re this person is ready for anything long term right now. They got too many fucking issues. They don't trust nobody. Third party is here. Some of y'all, something happened with a third party. It's like kind of like, you know, the energy of somebody being hurt and they want to hurt other people. Like that type of shit. But this person do fuck with you. I got two slots left for cash app, PayPal questions, two slots. I don't know. Because a part of me feels like I care about this person. A part of me feels like I like this person, but I don't like them. I like them because I feel what they've been through because I've been there and I've been the type of person that's been like, you know what? Fuck everybody. Like everybody, you know what I mean? People on some raw shit. I'm about to be on that because I gave my all and whoever didn't care. So it's like a part of me understands them, but a part of me is like, I don't understand them. Do you get it? Your advice is to emotionally detach from this person and not stress out about this. That's your advice. Because I feel like you are making this person want to change with the death card. Because it's not fair that you got to pay for what somebody else did to them. You don't got shit to do with their ex or the past person they dealt with. So why take this out on you, Aquarius? That's not fair to you. You ain't that person. So why would they try to take it out on you? That's not fair. Somebody walked in on somebody fucking with a third party. Mm. Mm. You ain't got nothing to do with they past person. So why are they trying to take that out on you? I don't know. Let's go to Pisces. 
Love you, Aquarius. For real. You got to relight that sage. <laughs> Pisces, last but not least. I want to look at my boo again. Ain't he cute? I got issues. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. He looks so cute. Poor thing. He crazy as hell. Get him right there. You know what I'm saying? He crazy as hell. You know what I'm saying? Get him right there. Get him right there. He's so fine. Oh my God. He be making my coochie wet. He making my coochie wet. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to Pisces. I love you, baby. Y'all like, you crazy as hell for loving this damn hood rat dude. Well, it is what it is. That's life. I'm always wanting to save people. That's my problem. I be wanting to save people. I be wanting to save people. You know what I'm saying? That's my problem. Like, I'm a damn superhero. We want to save people too much. I'm too open. That's because I've been sipping. I wouldn't tell y'all a goddamn thing if I was sober. I be wanting to save people. You know what I'm saying? Too much. People that got issues. People that if I tell you, like, yo, you, say, you talking to so-and-so? Nah, girl, that's a red flag. Leave him alone. I be like, no, but... I want to save him. I want to be his angel. I want to be the person that's in his corner. The devil? Yeah. You got issues. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is what it is. Stay safe. Thank you, Queen Jay-Z too fucking nice that's the problem i be i be seeing the good in people that other people see bad in i see good so i told my mom about my mom said do not talk to that guy my mom said i gotta get you back in the church i'm like yeah i know i don't like going to the church or the pastor tried to call me out one night i haven't told y'all about that the pastor was like ash noel I had a fellow psychic tell me I will forever be the save -er of all men. I was like, say what? Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. I went to the church for my mom and the pastor, he was laying hands on people. He said, you said, yeah, I see the hood and somebody didn't want to save them. The pastor called my ass out. He was like, somebody in here need to get their hands laid on them. I was scared. He was like, yeah, somebody in here, uh -huh, I'm getting something about readings. I said, oh, shit. I was like, oh, shit, he talking about me. He's like, you got to get delivered. Something, something. He's like, I don't know who it is. It's a woman. <laughs> He's like, I'm not saying, I'm not going to call you out. You know who you are. She might be afraid to come down. I was like, oh, my God. He was like, you know I'm talking about you because your chest started getting hot. And my chest started getting hot, y'all. I said, oh, shit, do I got the devil in me? Why he talking about me? He said, you something about readings. You got to get hands laid on you. Oh, I ain't been back to that church since. I said, Lord, help me. Am I the devil? I'm not the devil. I'm just trying to help people with their love life. You know what I'm saying? But that pastor, he called my ass out. And my chest sure enough did start getting hot. He said, you know I'm talking about you because your chest will start getting hot. And I said, oh, shit. My chest is high. I ain't go down there, though. I was scared as hell. Yeah, he channeled me. He said something about readings. You got to get delivered. I said, oh, shit. I ain't going here no more because I ain't giving up my readings. You know what I'm saying? 
Woo, I was scared as hell. Yeah, he did channel. I know. I said, I'm getting out of this church. I don't want to be the devil. God help me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going back to that church since. I felt so bad. My mom said, why are you not coming back? I said, I don't know, mom. I don't know. He called my, I didn't tell her that. You know what I'm saying? But I felt bad. I'm like, damn, I'm not a bad person. I'm not no demon or nothing. Pisces, this person won long term. I was gone. I knew I was the first one to say I wasn't going to leave the hood. As soon as I got that check, I was gone. I'm like, come on, I'm not trying to hurt nobody now. Come on, Pastor. I'm just on here. You know what I'm saying? He was like, it's something about readings. I was like, oh, he's talking to me. You seen a pregnant girl. Am I from Cali? I wish. From New York. No, I, I love being from New York, though. It made me. Pisces, this person went long term with you or what? Misunderstanding. Ghosting. Direct message and fuck boy. Hell no, this person don't want long term with you. Person's a fuck boy. Fuck girl. Closed off. They might even have somebody else they dealing with. Ghosting. This person done ghosted you before. Cali is too expensive here. It's worth it. Shit. I love Cali. I can't wait to get my ass. As soon as I get that apartment approval, I'm gone. Pack up all my shit. I'm going to do, what's that shit called? Where they, they the pods. I'm going to pack up all my shit. I'm going to be gone. I can't wait to make that move to go to Cali. I'm going to be the happiest person in the world when they be like, you got approved for this apartment. I'm going to be gone so quick. I want to go to Cali. I want to get me a Rottweiler. Did you use your measurements for your margarita? Hell no. Fuck the measurements. Them shits ain't do nothing. I feel like I was drinking some damn juice. You have been to California too long. I understand. That's how I felt about New York. Ten of swords in reverse. Got my pussy all out. Ace of swords in reverse. Page of cups in reverse. Three of pentacles. This person need therapy, Pisces. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait to move to Cali. I can't wait till they give me that apartment approval. My ass is gone so quick. I'm going to pack up all my shit. You hear what I'm saying? I tried to get him into therapy. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, this person need therapy. They got childhood issues. They got bad communication issues. They haven't healed from a past relationship. This person is a bag of dicks. Try the in and out Oh, I love in and out at California. I can't wait to go back to the West Coast to get me some in and out That shit is good. The way they do them fries and them burgers. Oh, I love me some in and out now. Cali's expensive. I don't give a fuck if it's $5,000 a month. I want to live there. I love Cali. I can't wait to move y'all. As soon as I get that apartment approval, my ass is gone. I knew I was the first one to say I wasn't going to leave the hood. Yeah. As soon as I got that check, I was gone. Two of swords. Wheel of fortune. Hierophant. Mm. The moon in reverse. Mm. This person is very interesting. Because you know what I feel, Pisces? This could be a player that don't want to be a player no more or a player that don't want to be a player no more. They got the Hierophant card. You the first one to even get that tonight. The only one to get that tonight. Which is my card about commitments. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever this is, I feel like they they're going to change and they're going to want to be with you eventually. This person need therapy. They got childhood issues. They bad at communicating. They need to heal. But I feel like if there's anybody that can see themselves with you, it's you. 
If there's anybody can see themselves with, it's you, Pisces. Excuse me. Yeah, Cancer Pisces here, Taurus energy. If this person commit to anybody, it's you. The moon is in reverse. You make this person want to be honest, want to be a different person. You. It's my husband. He's an oral surgeon. 15, 14 years my senior. Damn, that's old. But he's acting like he's 12. Shit, I like dudes that's 14 years my youngin. You know what I'm saying? You be 14 years younger than me. That's what I like right there. That's what I like right there. Strength in reverse world. I feel like this person is changing because of you, Pisces. I'm going to be real with you. I feel like this person is changing because of you. I like them young. I can't do no old ass man, no 14, 15 years older than me. Fuck no. You making this person, because you got the wheel of fortune. It could be a Leo. You making this person want to change. You a real Scorpio. I love that. Hell yeah, till I die. Anything else Pisces need to know about this person? I feel like this person don't want to be with you long term right now, but I feel like they do. But I feel like this person just got some ways about them. They need to change. Yeah, it's like you making this person want to change, want to heal. They got some deep issues. Some of you Pisces, this person, they lost somebody. And when this person passed away, it fucked them up. I don't know if it's a mother, a father, a grandmother, a grandfather, a friend, a brother, a sister. Somebody passed away and this made this person turn. That happens to people sometimes. They lose somebody close to them and they just change. You said he lost his mom. You see what I'm saying? I don't know what that got to do with them being a hoe, but everybody handles grief differently. You can't knock them. Everybody handles grief differently. And some of y'all, they lost somebody and they got them being a fuck boy, fuck girl. What's that got to do with being a hoe? You said he lost his dad at a young age. Yeah, it fucked people up. You don't know what it feels like to lose your father, lose this, lose that. Everybody handles it differently. Everybody handles grief differently. Some people, they close off. Some people become a hoe. Some people do this. Some people do that. Some people, everybody's different. We can't tell anybody how to handle loss. Grief is a horrible thing when somebody passes away. That's something that, you know what I mean? You can't. You're never getting that person back until you see him again in the afterlife. That's hard. I lost my best friend when I was 19. She got shot in the fucking drive-by. I didn't even have shit to do with her. I think about it all the time. That was my best friend, one of the best people I ever known in my life. I ain't never had a best friend like that. You think that shit ain't fuck me up? Shit fuck me up. So everybody's different. Thank you, Rach. Everybody's different. Lost one of the loves of my lives. Yeah, y'all don't be knowing, y'all be judging people. You don't know what people been through. I've been through some shit. I had a lot of loss. Everybody handles shit differently. That shit is hard to cope with. You can't tell nobody, oh, well, you lost somebody. You should do this. Fuck you. That's what you think I should do. But let me take your best friend away. Let me take your father away. Let me take your sister away, your mother away. You said I just lost my father. It hurt so damn bad. Of course, that's your father. He made you. Thank you, Ava. No, nobody know how that feel but you. So can't nobody come in and tell you how to handle shit and how you should feel. Thank you, Queen Jay-Z. Yeah. You said you miss your mommy. Yeah, that's hard. 
Let's go to the questions now. Everybody different, man. One thing I learned about life, we all fucked up in different ways. You get what I'm saying? Why my phone frozen? Hold on. I got to upgrade both of my phones because I'm tired of these phones. I'm so tired of both of these phones. My, my iPhone earlier today just fucking froze. I was talking to my mother. It just automatically shut down. I need two new phones. I'm going to go. I need to just get an upgrade. I'm scared because this is the Mercury retrograde. You know what I'm saying? So I'm scared to get like upgrade my phones, but I'm going to just do it because I'm tired of these phones. Oh my God. You know, I really hope he gets out of jail because I really feel like he's a good person. I don't know if he killed this dude or not, but I hope he didn't kill this dude. You know what I'm saying? I really hope he get out of jail. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never talked to no dude in jail before, but this will be interesting. Maybe we become friends. You know what I'm saying? Even if we don't end up together, we could be friends. You know what I'm saying? Because he got a lot going on in his life. I'm telling y'all too much of my damn business. Free Miss Hawaii nigga. <laughs> oh, God. I just pray to God. Like, I don't know. Life is funny, man. You never know who you're supposed to connect with. All right. Let's go to the questions now. Murder is bad. <laughs> I know. Become friends. Stephanie laughing at me. <laughs> I pray to God he ain't do it. We sing good prayers. Thank you, Queen Jay-Z. You always such a, you such a rock, Queen Jay-Z. I love you. You like the best friend I always needed. You sorry. Thank you, Miso. Life is a trip. You right. Especially when you got a lot of shit in your birth chart about karma. You never know what the fuck you going to get. Because I don't know who I was in my past life, but I think I was bad. I think I was a bad person. When I got my chart read, this lady told me somebody killed me in a past life. I said, damn. I said, I'm not surprised. She told me my past life was crazy. I'm like, I'm not surprised because this life, I got a lot of shit about karma in, in my in my birth chart for now. And I'm like, damn, what did I do in the past life? Who was I? What did I do to people? I was must have been a bitch. Because I got a lot of shit about love. Everything is love, 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 my past life. And I'm like, damn, what I did. What I did to these people in my past life. If you get your birth chart read, it will tell you about your karma. Everybody's karma is different. Some people got karma with their health. Some people got karma with love. Some people got karma with money. Some people got karma with career, finance, the way they look, all types of shit. And I said, damn, what did I do in a past life? I must have hurt a lot of people in love. I don't know what I did. But that shit is crazy. When you look at your past life, you be like, who the fuck was I? But I'm like, damn, I'm not that person no more. God, help me. Help me. Damn. For real. When you look at your karma and your, everybody got karma in their birth chart. So when somebody reads your birth chart, they tell you what your karma is, whether it's money. Some people are supposed to be poor their whole life. Some people are supposed to have health issues their whole life. Some people, they love life as their karma. Everybody's shit is different. Yeah, when you got retrograde, retrograde planets in your chart, that's karma too. Yeah. Or being the one to flip your family's karma. Yeah, I definitely got that. Because my north node is in my fourth house. And you know, the north node is your destiny. Mm, child. Back when you said you like 
them young. Me and my Scorpio, seven years apart. I'm his auntie. <laughs> oh, shit. I love young guys. God help me. I don't know, man. I be trying to be a better person. The outer planets and the south node deal with karma. Yep. My moon is conjunct my south node. Lady told me somebody tried to kill you in a past life. I said, damn. They said you was murdered in the past life. I said, damn. I'm not surprised. I got this girl I go to. She good. She know how to read a birth chart like a motherfucker. She told me straight up. I said, I'm not surprised. She told me, she said, you know, as soon as she looked at my birth chart, she said, you know what your karma is, right? I said, what? She said, love. I said, I know. I know my karma is in love. <laughs> you ain't got to tell me twice. All the shit I done been through. I don't know who I was in the past life. I heard a lot of people. Mm, that past life shit is real. I don't care what nobody say. That's why I want to do that past life regression where they said, like, you lay down and they tell y'all ever saw that show? It's a show. It popped up on YouTube. The dude, like, he put you in a hypnosis and he's able to, like, pull up your past life. He talks to you about the person you used to be. That shit be crazy. One lady, she was, it's all types of shit. I'm like, yo. I would like to do that one day. I would love to see one of my past lives who I was because I know I was a straight up evil bitch. All right. Let's start with Jessica. Let's start with the questions here. Your granny passed away. Oh, and uncle says she wanted to tell me something bad. Hopefully you can clear this up for me. Wow, that's hard. I don't know if I'll be able to tell you what, what granny wanted to say. Yeah, I got Lilith in my seventh house which is relationship house. So I already know I got Lilith in the seventh house. I've been expressing my grief and feelings about my granny with my friend Tanoya, but I don't know if I should keep telling her about my granny and all my business. Please help. Let's see what's going on with your granny. Like I'd be a little bit scared to tap into people that passed away, but they be coming through. I love you too, Teresa. You've been told you come from royalty in Egypt. Wow. Yeah, that would be cool, right? To be able to see, like, who was I in a past life? Like, it's a little bit creepy, though, you know? Good night, Rach. But I believe in, I believe in past lives. Like, I used to not, but karma, that shit is real. Like, Ooh, your grandma, your grandma was going through some pain, Jess, with that ten of swords. I don't know what was going on with her health, but she was going through some pain, but she not in no pain no more. She be sending you all types of messages through your dreams, through shit you see online, shit in the house. Your grandma is always trying to communicate with you. She was in a lot of pain. I see a man around her. Fire sign man, possibly Aries Leo Sag. She's been trying to tell you she not in no pain no more. She was in a lot of pain when she was here on earth. But she not in pain no more. She had cancer. I'm so sorry to hear that. She wants you to know she not in pain no more. She not stressing no more. She loves the shit out of you. Temperance in reverse. That's Sagittarian energy. Your grandmother was very tapped in with the high priestess. She was spiritual. She was a good person too with the justice card. And you know what's crazy? In this high priestess in this deck that I chose to read for you, this is like an older woman. I don't know if you can see. But this high priestess is like an older woman. She's got gray hair and everything. That's crazy. A lot of scorpions were responsible for the deaths of others in past lives. It's the sign of betrayal. If you come back as a Scorpio, you're going to meet the people who you had a bad relationship with. Wow. Drink to that. Very spiritual. Your grandma is all around you. Pay attention to your dreams, things you see around the house, messages you get. 
she be trying to communicate with you in all types of ways. And there is a man with her. She loved you deeply. She loves you deeply. But she's not any pain anymore. You're a Scorpio. Yeah, I never heard that before. The lovers. Oh my God, your grandma loves you so much. The seven of cups. She be responsible for like opportunities coming your way. She's very protective of you. She's very protective of you. Your grandma, she's super spiritual. She tapped in. She got angels all around her, but there's something about some man around her. She's very protective of you. She wants to make sure that people are not using you. I just see a lot of messages coming through from her. She was actually a really good person too with this nice person card. She's been trying to help you in your love life. But she's sending somebody your way. That's what it's telling me. Y'all had a very strong connection. Your grandma loved you. She would have fought for you, died for you. I love you too, Charlie. That's what it's telling me. She really communicates with you a lot. What's going on with, with, with her, with your mother? Did they not get along or what was up with them? Because the Empress in reverse. Mm. She really did and definitely have tried to help me with my love life. That's really sweet. Y'all got a, y'all got a very strong connection. You and your grandma, y'all have been like family in past lives with that lovers. They didn't get along. Mm. I think she feels bad about that though. Now that she's passed. I think she wishes that she, that they could have got along. And I think she wants you two to work on your relationship. You get what I'm saying? We got the same name, Jessica. So somebody sent me money. Who sent me money? Shun Jones. I love you, Jess. I want to know something though. You said your mom is dead too. Oh shit. That's crazy. I want to pull something else from your, for your grandma. Something tell me to pull from this deck for your grandma. And then we'll go to, uh, Sher Shermikia. What else we got for Jessica's grandma? Oh, that was you pop. Okay, cool. Be the change. She wants you to change. Cause it's uh, something told me to grab a different deck for her. She wants you to change. There's some type of change in you. Be the change. Friends to love her. She's sending somebody your way. Some type of soulmate your way. The way she died was unexpected. Fear of failure and soulmate. I told you, your grandma's sending you some type of soulmate connection. It may start off as friends and then turn to lovers. And it may come in when you're least expecting it. And she wants you to stop being afraid of failure. With that fear of failure card, there's something that you need to pursue and stop being scared of failure. How that just gave me cold chills. I lost my grandma back in 2002. It happened unexpectedly. And me and her was very close. I was 14 at the time. She passed. I'm 36. Now all I can say is, wow. I don't know who Tenoya is, but this was talking about your grandma. This was talking about your grandma. Remember, it's one question, so I can't, I can't go too deep. Tenoya didn't come through. It was talking about your grandma. I will keep it to myself. I will keep it to myself. 
Kenya said, don't tell the Noya nada. Let's go to Shermikia now. So with Shermikia, J Solo, Give Me Gems, and then Shun. Shermikia said, I can't chat because I have not been a subscriber for longer than seven days, but I'm here listening. Thank you. She said, recently got a divorce, hoping I made the best decision to leave the marriage because I was being mistreated. Just found a few, no, a few, just found a new love interest, Jason, really into him, but I'm a little skeptical because he shows some behaviors of my ex-husband, but I don't know if it's my intuition or I'm just afraid. Should I take a chance with Jason and just be me? So Jason is an Aries. He's born March 27, 1979. And Sharmika is a Scorpio. She's born November 20th. Let's see. I'm going to use this deck for you, girl. You're welcome, Jess. I want to thank y'all for... <laughs> oh. I want to thank y'all for all the views on the last live reading too. Y'all got a hundred over a hundred K views. I've never, I've never ever reached that many views doing a live. So I want to thank y'all for that. What are the messages for Shermikia? What are the messages for Shermikia? On top of the world. What dropped in my lap? Relocating and catfish tried to drop in my lap. Secret work lover. Somebody at work like you. Social media. And forever love. Forever love says trust. This is the one spiritual connection, contentment, putting in the effort. Well, um, oh, thanks Rhonda. <laughs> Got a divorce. Hoping I made the best. Yeah. I feel like you feeling way better since you got divorced with the on top of the world card. Somebody at work or your work, their work like you. What else we got for Shamikia here? The Empress. Oh, wow. You're doing real good. The Judgment. The World. I'm so happy you closed out this cycle, girlfriend. Your husband betrayed you. It was very painful. Very painful ending. The Two of Pentacles, the Four of Swords in Reverse. You still have a lot of healing to go through. I feel like this dude here is very attracted to you. It's not really telling me much about his feelings for you. It's telling me that you still got a lot of healing to do from this past connection. He's not talking to anybody else. He's being very honest and open with you. And he's also made his mind up that he doesn't want to walk away from this. So that's good energy. I see you being the one that's kind of indecisive. But with the forever love card, it says trust. This is the one spiritual connection, contentment, putting in the effort. So I think this man feels a very strong connection with you already. He got a crazy ass ex-girlfriend. The lovers in reverse. Whoever he dealt with was a fucking piece of work. I don't know if this woman knows about you or... He can have a lot of women that want to be with him. What's the advice for Shermikia? What should she do in regards to Jason? Stop spying on him so much. Three of cups, six of pentacles. Have fun. Enjoy the time with him. Stop thinking so much about the future and negative and the universe. Three of cups. Just have fun. Just enjoy your time with him. You just got out of something very traumatic, very painful. Just live your life and have fun. That's what your angels want you to do right now. Let him spend money on you with this six of pentacles too. 
Can you tell me anything about Jason's feelings? Knight of Cups in reverse, Nine of Cups, Three of Wands, Chariot. So he he's holding back his feelings right now. He's trying to see where things go between the two of you. I feel like you make him feel really good, really happy, but emotionally he's holding back. Right now, both of y'all got a lot of tra like trauma from your past. Just have fun right now. Just enjoy life. You single, you got out of a crazy ass divorce. Just have a good time right now. That's what the universe wants you to do. They don't want you to rush into things. Stop thinking so hard. Are we going to get married? Are we this? Are we that? You don't even need that right now. You just got out of a crazy ass situation. You need to just have fun. Thank you, Marilyn. Keep me updated, all right, Sharmiki? I love you. Let's go to Jay Solo. What, do, what does Jay Solo need to know right now? I want to go to Tahiti, y'all. Any of y'all ever been to Tahiti? That's where I want to go. I want to go to to Tahiti in like the end of May, beginning of June. Tahiti is beautiful. That flight is long as fuck, but I feel like I'll be okay on a long flight. I just need to bring my iPad, get a good book. You know what I'm saying? Have my drinks on the flight and I'll be good, but I want to go to Tahiti. Drama. You want to go there one day. Yeah, that shit is beautiful. Miss Alex, you back? What you doing up in here? Obsessed. Somebody's obsessed with you, Jay Solo. You are ready for love. STD is on the bottom. So I don't know if you've been having sex. Make sure you get tested with that card. It says ready for love. No games, wants commitment, emotionally available, knows how to treat a man. So you ready for love. There's somebody that's obsessed with you though. It says, I'm yours, you're mine, the chemistry's insane, I can't keep my hands off of you. And then you got the drama card. So stay clear from people with, hanging out with you as always. Thank you, girlfriend. Watch out for people full of drama. Watch out for people bringing you drama. All right, Jay Solo. Hello. That's what it's saying. But the universe is acknowledging, hey, Polson, the universe is acknowledging that you are ready for love. What else we got for Jay Solo? You've been through a lot in love. You got the wounded warrior here. Stay away from emotionally, <laughs> emotionally immature people. You said that drink about gone. You right, Pop. But what I'm going to do, I ain't making no more. That's it. Block anybody who comes off emotionally immature. Anybody who doesn't want a relationship. You need to keep your faith in love with the star in reverse. Stop thinking negative. You need to stay strong with the strength in reverse. You're going to meet your soulmate really, really soon. They might be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. So the universe is preparing you for your soulmate. They're coming in. You might meet them this year. It's saying to stay strong. Keep the hope because I see a soulmate coming in for your ass. Ace of Pentacles. Hello, Jay Solo. I'm finna make my strawberry margarita when I log out of work in 15 minutes. Good. Can you tell me anything about this, soul, this soulmate here for Jay Solo? Chariot in reverse. It's somebody you don't, it's somebody brand new. It's somebody you're not, you're not talking to somebody not in your life. And the same for you to be more patient with the temperance in reverse. Don't rush with the chariot in reverse, temperance in reverse, cancer, uh, Sagittarian energy It's saying to just let this shit flow to you naturally. You can't force it. 
The universe don't like when you force love or you force anything. You know what I'm saying? You got to let that shit flow. You got to let that shit flow. I don't know why. You know, when we get to the other side, we can talk to God. So I got a lot of questions for God. I'm going to be like, God, don't do it for a minute. Come here. God going to be like, not this bitch again. I'm be like, come here, God. Come here. I got a question for you. <laughs> On September 17th, God going to be like, you need to leave me alone. God going to be like, Jesus, come get this bitch. I'm like, no, God, hold on. I got more questions for y'all. God going to be like, uh-uh, your ass got to go. I'll be like, God, come on, don't be like that. Come on now. God going to be like, keep talking shit, I'm going to send your ass down below. I'm going to be like, no, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. But that's what I got for you, Jay Solo. You got a soulmate coming in. But you need to keep the faith. Stay strong. Don't doubt. Because they're coming in. It says unify love. Partnership, mutual attraction, proposal, marriage, connection. Knight of Cups, creativity, romantic, charm, imagination, beauty, Knight in shining armor, following the heart, Prince Charming, proposals. You gonna meet your person. Because you ready for love. The universe is saying you're ready for love. You should make a podcast. You so damn funny. <laughs> I don't even be trying to be funny. I be fucking real with these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Pop? All right. Let's go to Give Me Gems. That's my girl, Stephanie. Any urgent messages right now about anything in general? I'm struggling with mental health. I'm just looking for messages from my ancestors. What's going on, Steph? What's going on, Stephanie? Don't let none of these niggas stress you out. Good night, Ava. <laughs> you funny, Pop. What are the messages for Stephanie? What does she need to know? Urgent messages. Snake in disguise. Single. The universe wants you to be single right now. Good news. You got good news coming in. Says happy, excited, good news. But you do have a snake you need to watch out for. It says an enemy as a friend or a lover, thief, someone acts like they care, but they don't. I just feel like I need to shift my energy towards me. I need my ancestors. Oh, Stephanie. I know, girl, it'd be a lot, don't it? Life be lifing. Oh, shit. Hold on, Steph. Hey, Seymour Blessings, how you doing? Randon Jones, what's up? What do we have for Stephanie? What are the urgent messages for Stephanie? Good night, Toby. I love you, baby daddy. What are the urgent messages for Stephanie? Five of Swords. King of Swords. You know who's the snake. You dreamed it last week. Oh, shit. The Hierophant in reverse. You're not ready for commitment yet. That's what it keeps telling me. You're not ready for a relationship yet. The Strength card. The universe is trying to make you stronger for some reason. The Nine of Cups. Oh, I get it. They want you to be happy with Stephanie. 
The nine of cups is a card about being happy, being you, being single, being by yourself, being emotionally independent. Thank you, star lover. The universe is trying to make you stronger as an individual before you get in a relationship because you got the nine of cups here. Page of Pentacles. You're going to be getting some good news in regards to your money, your finances. That's what it's saying. These dreams have been intense. It's retrograde season. Shit, tell me about it. I had some crazy ass dreams last night. The two of cups. You have a soulmate connection with somebody. The two of cups is here, Steph. That's your boo, ain't it? That's your soulmate. That's what it's saying. Seven of Wands. You need to be more of a warrior here. There's some type of good news coming in regards to your money. So watch out for that. Yeah, as far as your job, you need to be more patient too with the temperance in reverse. Keep yourself balanced. Keep Protect your energy. Protect your peace. That's what I'm getting. I see some good news coming in regards to work and your finances. And it's telling me you have a soulmate here, but the universe needs you to be more patient. So be more patient. Look out for good news in regards to your career, your money, your finances. Learn how to be happy with being Stephanie, not needing no man, no woman, no pet, no nobody. Just Stephanie. That's all you need with the nine of cups. That's the card about being emotionally independent. Not needing no man, no woman, no fish, no cat, no dog to make you happy. Hello? I'm talking to you, Stephanie. That's your urgent messages. I can't wait to get this talent. <laughs> how do I do that? Steph, how do you do that? You got to, okay, as far as being emotionally independent, how did I have to learn how to do that? You just got to learn to just be comfortable being by yourself, not needing nobody, not needing a text to make you happy, not needing a phone call to make you happy, somebody's attention to make you happy, you making you happy, whether it's, Spending time with yourself, reading, taking yourself on vacation, pampering yourself, getting a massage, getting your feet done, getting your hair done, your nails done, shopping, whatever. Whatever. You live alone so you get bored. Fuck that. The universe likes for you to be comfortable with yourself first before they bring in your soulmate. Because if you feel like you always need somebody to be there, you need somebody to call you, you need somebody to text you, you're not emotionally independent. The universe is trying to make you be emotionally independent. How do you protect your peace? By not letting these motherfuckers out here disturb your peace. Whether it's loved ones, co-workers, people you're dating, no matter what, no matter how somebody treats you, you maintain your peace because Stephanie is all that you need. That's what it's saying. Hey, discovering Kyla, how you doing? Thank you for being a member, baby. baby. That's how you do that shit. It takes time too. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. It takes time. Cards or not, I love your energy. Thank you, Dario. You feel me? Do you feel me, Stephanie? Trust me, it's an everyday thing. It don't happen overnight. I went back to the cancer read and I almost fell out laughing. <laughs> I'm happy I can make you laugh, cozy dreams. 
we're doing questions now. I love you, Stephanie. You keep your head up, girl. Let me pull one advice card here for Stephanie. Because Stephanie always get questions with me, so. Let me get one more, one advice card here for Stephanie, please. From her ancestors, from her spirit guides. Energy activation. Connect to the divine through meditation or prayer. You need to meditate and you need to pray more. Straight up, Steph. It says connect to the divine through meditation or prayer. You're not praying and you're not meditating enough. Your angels got a lot of messages for you, but they're not going to come through until you start praying and meditating more. Okay. I picked a bonus card for you. You're welcome. All right, last but not least, let's go to Shun Jones. Pac, where Pac at? Pac said, what's up, Miss Hawaii? What's up? I hope all is well. First, I want to say keep sipping that drink. Have about two to me. Uh-uh. I love you so much. I love you too. I wanted to talk about my Leo again. What's she doing right now? Like, do she think I really moved on from her? I miss her so much. And I wish I could talk to her, but I can't reach out. I won't. She's not the type to chase, so it's kind of hard to feel she will even come back to me to try to fix it. And I also know her mom doesn't want us to be together. She's a cancer. I feel like her son misses me being around. His graduation is next month. And I wanted to get him a gift, but honestly, I don't know. Because when we stop talking, she doesn't want her kids to talk to me. I got this cancer on my hands still. I told her I'm chilling because I got out of relationship, but she want to really be with me. She keeps, excuse me, telling me that. All right. What's going on with this Leo? Let's light the sage for you, Pop. I just want to dance and listen to a raw model, raw model. To the reggae music. Pop. Oh, shit. I just want to dance and listen to a raw model. <laughs> Y'all are funny, yo. You've been saging all week, all over myself, bathroom, every damn way. <laughs> Shit, that's how it be sometimes. This world is crazy. And listen to a raw model. Ramado. What's going on with Pop? You love the sound of cards shuffling. Me too, Alex. What's going on? I'm about to make my halibut after this. I love you. This Leo is in love with you. It says, I'm not giving up. I want you. Straight up. Movie night. Spending time together. I love me and with you. We have so much fun. That might be your cancer. Soulmate, you and the Leo are soulmates. Very soon on the bottom. Mutual love, partnerships, equality, romance, shared values, so sexual connection. Y'all had good sex too. Major choices. Don't look at me like that. The Leo loves you. The Leo is your soulmate. Be careful with this cancer because she's had her heart broken. The cancers had their heart broken before. I love your nails. Thank you. The eight of wands. The Leo is going to hit you up. The Leo is going to hit you up. 
king and queen of pentacles here. Hmm. You know, you and the Leo made a good couple, but y'all had y'all differences, but I feel like y'all actually made a really good couple. I see her hitting you up. There's going to be communication from her. She misses having sex with you. The cancer is filling you. Man, we ain't never went out on a date. The cancer tell me every day, I want you, I want you. You minds, I really like you. And then me and Leo argue too much. Well, you know, Leo's like to argue. That's their love language. Six of cups. The Leo miss you. The Leo be thinking about you all the time. All the time. But the cancer is feeling you too. But the cancer acts like the cancer don't want to come off too attached to you with the king of swords. The cancer's not talking to anybody else either. The cancer don't want nobody else. Yeah, that's Leo's love language. Leo's love arguing. That's their love language. My mom, her ex-boyfriend, they used to fight every day. I'd be like, Ma, how you deal with that? And she stayed with him for 14, 15 years. He was a Scorpio. She, it didn't bother her. She liked that arguing shit. I don't know why Leo's like that shit. It could be a fire sign thing. I don't know. But um, the devil in reverse... The Leo was trying to detach from you because at one point the Leo really felt very, very attached to you. Hierophant in reverse. You're not ready for another relationship just yet. The Leo look good too. Queen of Wands, she's fine. You're not ready for a relationship yet. You need, you have a lot of healing to do, Pop. The hangman, I told you, you're not ready for a relationship just yet. But I feel like dealing with this Leo has really changed your perspective on love. There's a lot of things you see differently. She really misses having sex with you. Now, I don't know if y'all actually got intimate or it was just a passion, but she missed that fire with you. That arguing shit could have really turned her on. What's the advice for Pop? Yeah, my mom, a Leo. My mom loved to argue. Let her come to you. Leo's and Scorpios together. Amazing combo. I know. I was in love with a Leo. Leo fucked my life up. He fucked my life up. He had his Venus and Mars in my eighth house. He fucked my life up, child. I love that man. I would have, you would have told me, jump off this bridge if you love this man. I would have did that shit. It was toxic. It was toxic. I'm half, so happy I don't deal with him no more. If you say that one more time, she ain't ever had a youngin before and I'm the first female that ever made her feel like that, to be honest, that's what she said. Oh, I got to sip to that. You and a Leo nine years apart. Damn. You said fire signs toxic. I mean, I wouldn't say that. You got toxic in every sign. I just feel like fire signs, they, they real fiery. What's the advice for Pac? What should Pac do? She's going to reach out to you. I think I told you this already. Nine of Swords. You need to stop stressing so much and stop losing sleep over this and stop worrying. She's going to reach out to you. That's what it keeps telling me. That's what it keeps telling me. I'm toxic too, but they just... You need to focus on you, Pac. Keep doing you. I feel like she's still mad at you with the judgment in reverse. There's still things she blames you for. 
but this woman loves you a lot. You need to give the cancer a chance. Movie night, maybe y'all go to the movies together or something with the movie night card. But you and the Leo do have a very strong soulmate connection. When you keep saying she never reach out, I'm telling you she's going to reach out. I know Leos are stubborn and shit like that, but keep me updated. That cancer trying to fall in love and I can't do that. I don't want to hurt her. Well, you got to cut her loose then. Don't keep her around if you don't want to, if you don't want her to fall in love. Let's go to Sierra. This is my last cash app. Sierra, what's your question, baby? You're welcome, Shermikia. Where's Sierra? Where's Sierra at? Thank you, Pac. I love you. It's my baby right there. That's my baby right there. Look at him. Look at him. He crazy as hell. Sierra, what's your question, girl? He crazy as hell. But those be the ones. Those be the ones right there. Look at that right there. Look at that. Look at him. Look at him with his best friend right there. King Bond. King Bond right there. Who that man Harpo? That's my baby daddy. That's my baby daddy right there. That's my baby daddy right there. Hell no, I ain't got no kids. Future baby daddy. Her jail bay. You gonna stop. <laughs> Leave him alone. Leave him alone. He ain't no jail bay. Poor thing. Look at him right there. 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 Poor thing. God, thank you, Latoya. Why, Lord? Why are you always sending me these people? These people I gotta save. Why? Why are you why are you even bringing people into my life, Lord? A fucking hot fucking mess. Man, we're going to get the conjugal visits. <laughs> oh, look at that face right there. Look at that face right there. Oh, God. Help me, Lord. The devil. Nothing but the devil. That's my life. You said send him some chips. <laughs> oh, shit. Y'all be having me on the floor. Sierra, where you at? <laughs> I got a Capricorn from Chi-Town that I can't shake. Wow, he's a Capricorn too, and he from Chicago. Damn. Mm. I don't know why I like his ass. Not the lick. He is straight up bad boy. He is straight up gangbanger. I be always falling for the wrong people. My Venus is in my 12th house. I'm always falling for the wrong people. I don't know why. Ever since I was little. Since I was in fucking sixth grade. I'm always falling for the wrong people. Capricorn are the best. Ah, uh -uh, Rhonda. I always fall for the wrong people. And the people that be wanting me, I don't be wanting them. 
Sit up straight. Stop folding in the chair. I know I'm folding. You like them youngins. Hell yeah, I don't do no old ass man with shit in his pants. I don't know. God, God help me. I don't know why I be falling for these people. I ain't never talked to no dude in jail before, but we'll see. I'm not saying I'm going to marry him or nothing like that, but something told me to reach out to him, so I'm going to keep y'all updated. I sent him a letter. You are his match. I sent him a letter. I ain't never wrote to nobody in prison in my life. I sent him a letter like, how you doing? I'm praying for you. God loves you. So I'll let y'all, I'll let y'all know how it goes. I'm gonna let y'all know if he respond. If he write, if he write back to me, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna let y'all know. I sent him a letter. I ain't never wrote to nobody in prison in my life. But I was like, God loves you. Maybe we'll be pen pals. Try something new. Ah! <laughs> yeah, that's something new, all right. He better respond. I don't know. I'm going to let y'all know for sure. I'm going to let y'all know. If, if he write me back, I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to be like, y'all don't believe who wrote me back. You going to be on that reality jail show. Ah! Dumb happy. Ah! You said he will. We going to see. I wrote him a letter. I don't know why I did it. I'm going to let y'all know, though. I just want you to be happy. I want to be happy, too. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's a jail bay, outside bay, young bay, whoever. I want to be happy, too. Miss Hawaii's lives are the best. Enjoy with a drink on the side. <laughs> y'all just be liking to hear me drunk because I be telling y'all my damn business. That's what y'all like. Us Scorpios just do whatever, period. Yeah, I never talked to nobody in jail before, so let's see let's see what the hell he say. If he say anything, my bad, this girl crazy as hell. I don't want this damn girl, but we'll see. I don't know, someone told me to write to him. I had a couple of dreams about him, so I'm like, why well, I keep dreaming about this boy? Let me just reach out and see what the hell he say. So we'll see. So if he writes to me, I gave him my number two. I'm like, call me. So if he called me, I'm going to be like, oh, shit, I'm going to get on here and tell y'all, like, y'all won't believe I got a collect call. You have a collect call from an inmate at so-and-so prison. I'm going to be like, where's my credit card? You going to send him a four-page letter. Ah! I'm going to let y'all know, like, y'all won't believe who called me. Maybe we become best friends. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I don't know. His case looking real bad, though. He like he might be gone forever. You just need to feel some type of shit. Yeah. Memorize one of his songs and send him a video. Ah! Looking a hot mess. My boyfriend's a Scorpio. I love y'all. He got a he got on your face, baby. Keep him as there. We'll see. You know, a part of me like you don't want to be with nobody that's in prison. You know what I mean? They can't do nothing. You can't go on no trips. Y'all can't fuck. Y'all can't do this. This a criminal. You know what I mean? There's another part of me like, see what happened. You know what I'm saying? Just talk to them. Maybe y'all become best friends, you know? Because my thing about me is I got a big heart. Like, I be feeling, I be seeing the best in everybody. Whether you a prison inmate, you this, you that. I always see the best in people. And that could be a flaw. You say it's a criminal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can still have fun on the street. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm just going with the flow of the universe. Whatever happens, happens. Collect calls and commissary obligations. <laughs> Shit, we'll see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we'll be best friends. Maybe I'll get him saved. Dedicate his life to the Lord. You said this in a Scorpio read about a dude locked up. Oh, I did? You know what's crazy? When I was in San Francisco, I pulled some cards for myself. And I got the locked up card. But I didn't know at the time. I was like, am I going to get locked up? Because I was like, why this card coming out? I don't talk to nobody in jail. And then boom, here we go. 
So we gonna see y'all. I sent him a letter. So if he respond, I'm gonna let y'all know and be like, yo, y'all won't believe who called me, who respond. We gonna see. But if not, I guess that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. 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 The jail car came out. I said, what the fuck? I'm like, I don't talk to nobody in prison. I ain't in prison. Mm. Mm. I got the locked up car. I said, what the fuck? Then when I was on a plane coming back home, I was dozing off my eyes. It hit me. I said, oh shit. Whatever house your Venus is in, that's how you're going to find love. My microphone died. So if your Venus is in, whatever house your Venus is in, is going to tell you how you're going to find love. So my Venus is in my 12th house. Y'all know 12th house represent jails, asylums, prisons, foreign places. That's what the 12th house represents. So that's a little trick for y'all. Wherever your Venus is located in your birth chart, that's where you're going to find love. Anyway, let me get my ass the hell on. I got to go grill my halibut. I'm going to go grill my halibut. Get ready. I got some school work to do. I'm going to keep y'all updated on this jail bay, though. Y'all like this bitch a mess. Not the locked up love. <laughs> Shit, I don't even care at this point. I just want somebody who loved me for me. Your Venus in your fourth house, your fourth house. That's good. That's why you like them rich. All right, I love y'all. Let me go now. I'm gonna go grill my halibut. I'm hungry. I put my, my halibut in the stirrup in the pan for like three minutes on each side and then throw it in a crock pot for 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? And it comes out delicious. All right, y'all. I love y'all. If y'all want a personal reading, email MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. You said you sent me a cash app. Please call me Diamond Alive. Dom said, I'm an Aquarius. My cancer doesn't know if I know I he's seeing someone else this weekend. Is my cancer playing games or does he see a future with me? down the road well this one question dom you sent me like five but let's see what's going on with sierra here let's see you said you're an aquarius your cancer doesn't know what's going on with your cancer let's do this real quick for dom here oh she cook cook <laughs> What's going on with this cancer? How does this cancer feel? How does this cancer feel about Ciara? Very soon. Secrets. Generous. Top of the world. There's some secrets between you and this cancer. It says deceitful, misleading, doesn't want you to know, scared for you to find out. Then you got the generous card. So I don't know which one that is, if that's you or that's them. I feel like the cancer is very attracted to you. Does this cancer see a future? With Dom. 
Does this cancer see a future with Dom? The cancer ain't going nowhere. Eight of Cups in reverse, the hermit. But the cancer does like being by themselves sometimes. The cancer does like spending time. The lovers in reverse. The magician. Three of Wands, the sun in reverse. The cancer is still trying to get over some past relationship. Some past situation that didn't work, Dom. Good night, Rhonda. I love you, baby girl. I love you, gorgeous. You manifested the cancer, but the cancer has made up their mind. They're not walking away from this. The moon. What's up with this secretive energy? Either you keeping secrets from the cancer or the cancer's keeping secrets from you. Something is going on because you got the secrets card and you got the moon. You said your cancer doesn't know. I know he's seeing someone else. Oh, so it's the cancer keeping secrets. It's the cancer keeping secrets. He could be fucking with somebody from his past. He or she. But I feel like whoever they fucking with, they don't feel a strong connection with this person. What's the advice for Dom? What should Dom do? The Hierophant. You need to keep your options open, Dom. You got the Seven of Cups here, which is literally a card about options. You actually have a lot of people that are interested in you, whether you know it or not. You need to keep your options open because this cancer is playing games just like you said. There's somebody else he's dealing with, he or she is dealing with, and it, it's too many secrets with this person. This cancer need to be more honest with you. Hey, Danielle, I don't like that shit. I don't like that lying shit, that secretive shit. There's no need for that. I feel like he or she is involved with somebody from their past. But there's no soulmate connection. Girl, you right, girl. Yeah, like, I don't like that shit. Tell me more about this cancer. Yeah, like, this cancer lies a lot. And look, I see how it's been stressing you out. With the temperance in reverse, this shit been disturbing your peace. You need to keep your options open, Dom. Because the cancer be lying too much. He keeping me in my head. Yeah. You could have been very generous with your money or just your time with this person. And look, you got top of the world here. It says multiple options, dates booming, and they're ready for love. So I feel like you got people that's interested in you. It's not like you some old looking, ugly, bald headed person that nobody don't want. You got people that definitely will be lined up for your ass. You don't have to settle and deal with this type of treatment. Hello, Dom. This cancer be keeping too many fucking secrets here. Look, it's the secrets card. Hold on, I dropped it. Yeah, it says deceitful, misleading, doesn't want you to know, scared for you to find out. It's just not that serious. And you an Aquarius, you know y'all are ready to attach. So it's like, you need to keep your options open, Dom. Fuck that shit. Too many fucking games. You know what I'm saying? You don't deserve that. You lucky to even get an Aquarius' attention and time and love. You got it and you gonna play games? You gonna, you know what I mean? Like, nobody don't got time for that shit. That's what I got for you, boo. Keep me updated, Dom. All right, let me go now, y'all. Thank you so much, Dom, for getting that question and answer here y'all want a personal reading y'all email me at miss hawaii readings at gmail.com 
I love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening. You're welcome, baby. I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Be blessed and be well. Stay strong. Stay positive. Ah, thanks for listening to me. Don't go telling my business. And I'll see y'all on the next one. All right. Bye, guys. I love y'all.